Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how to change sounds inside of Minecraft. And this time we'll change the raid horn sound. And it's pretty straightforward, but there are a few things you have to do to get this thing right. Okay, switch over to the desktop and get to work. We'll start off here with a new folder. I made a folder on my C drive. I named it PAC. That's all that is. And in here I have my custom PAC PNG file. This is just a square PNG image. It's at 128 by 128. If you want to, you can go to 256 by 256, but it's not really necessary. We need to have our new sound right here. We'll take a look at where you can find the new sounds. You need the current JSON index file. I'll show you where that is. We also need to have some folders in here. So let's take a look at those. We need an assets folder. Go inside of this, we need a Minecraft folder in there. Inside of that, we need a sounds folder. Inside of that one, we need an event folder. And inside of here, we need a raid folder because we're changing the raid horn. Okay, let's just back out of all of that. So we have our folders all ready to go. Let's start off here by getting the JSON file that you need. And for that, let's bring up the Minecraft launcher. In this right here, I'm in the Java edition. And go up here to installations. And where it says latest release, go to the right hand side and click on that folder icon right here. Raise a folder up in here. Come down to where it says assets, open this up, and then go into indexes. Right now I'm playing in 1.21.3, and for that you want the highest number down here, and this is 18. So it's the 18 JSON. All this stuff here, these are all older versions in here, older files. So you want the 18 at this point. This will go later on, probably the next version of Minecraft will have a higher number. Right now we're in number 18. Open this up. Now I open these things up in Notepad++. It's a great program, really easy to use, and does everything we need for this kind of work. Now, why we have this in here is that this shows us the names of the sound files and also gives us the path to the sound files. We've already seen the path. That's those folders that we have set up at the beginning there. Let's find the names of the files. Go up to search, come down to find, and we'll be doing a search here for raid. Find next. Okay, this is just the raid omen og. We don't want that one. Find next. Here we go. Here's the raid horns right there. Okay, can close this thing down. I'll scroll down just a little bit. So here is the path right there. That's what we set up. We have we did assets, then Minecraft, then sounds, then event, then raid. That's the folders. And here's the name of the files that we need. Raid horn underscore, and it's 01, and there are ogfiles.ogg. There are four of these. There's 01, 02, 03 and 04. These are just slightly different on each one just so there's some variation in there. They're not dramatically different. So we need those four files. And I've copied those files off to my hard drive, but all we care about is just that name right in here. So I'm going to just copy out the name of the file and also the path. Right click and copy. Just bring up Notepad or any other text editor. It doesn't matter. You can just write this down if you want to, put it on a piece of paper, that's okay. So there's the name of one. I'm going to do this four times in here. And let's just name these two, three, and four. So this is what we have to set up in our new resource pack to change the raid horn inside the game. Okay, we're all done with this. That's all we need that for, just that one reference. Close that down. Close that down out of there. Bring our working folder back up again. Here we go. The next thing we need is to have a new sound. Now I have mine playing inside of the VLC media player. That's why I have this kind of speed cone thing in here. This is just a police siren. Let me go ahead, I'll play this. There you go, just kind of a silly little police siren. The one in the game right now is kind of a primitive goat horn style sound to it. So we use a police siren for that. Let me show you where I got this. Got this over on Pixabay, and it's right here. And in Pixabay, you can do a search here for all kinds of stuff, but also for sound effects, right there to click on sound effects. And I'll do a search in here for siren, hit the enter key, and here we go, a whole bunch of different effects. Here's a police siren effect right here. Not too bad, but it goes on for 18 seconds. It's kind of long. There you go, easy to get these sounds. And then to download, just click on download. I'll download this one just for the heck of it. We'll be using that one. Just choose save. And I save that back to my same working folder. Let's go ahead, we'll get rid of this. And that's right there. Okay, so we have our sound. We have our folders all set up. We now need to have a pack.mc meta file to help make the pack work. I'm just going to minimize this out of the way for a second. There we go. Now to get a pack.mc meta file, 
We'll get that over on my website. Let me bring that website up. And it's right here, HTG George. There's a hyphen in there between HTG and George. And then go over here, Minecraft Pack MC Meta. I'll put this link in the description so you can just click on the link and get right to here. We need this pack format right there. Click on that and then download this back into your working folder. Pack format 42, choose save. And also this is only good for versions 121.2 and 121.3. That's pack format 42. This is going to be changing in 121.4, which is coming up fairly soon. It'll be pack format 43 at that point. When that goes live, I'll put a new link in here for that. Okay, get this out of the way. That's right here. I'm going to right click on this. Let's open this in a new window. We want that file right there. Just drag and drop it over here. Close that down. You can then delete that zip file. No longer needed. And then open this up. Again, I'm doing this inside of Notepad++. Here we go. Pack format is correct. Again, this is correct for 121.2 and 121.3. If you work in a different version, just go back to my website and find in the list there the one that you need. And up here, just change this description. I'll call this one Raid Siren and save. And that's all set to go. We now need to take this and convert this over into a .ogg file. This is an MP3 file, as you can see right there. It has to be a .ogg. And for that, you can do this online. Let me bring up a good online site for that if you want to do that. And it's right here, convertio.co. Choose your file here and change that to the .ogg file. And this works out well. I prefer using a better sound app on my computer. I'll bring that up. I like using Audacity. It's a free download. And it's right here. Now the easy way to get a sound into this or a song or music, whatever, into here is just to drag and drop. So here's our working folder again. I'll take this, I'll just drag it over here and drop it in. Comes in as stereo. Inside of Minecraft for your sound effects, you want those in mono. And it has to be in .ogg. Easy to do both of those in just one shot. Go up here to the file. Come down to export audio right there. And here, I'll leave the file name the same. That's fine for right now. And put this into our new pack folder. Choose save. Has to be OGG Vorbis files right there. So it's the OG file format. This changes to mono. At least sound quality alone. Everything else is fine. Choose export. And that's now done. Close this down. Not going to save that. And here we go. Here's our new file right there. Okay. We need to have this now inside of our folder. We can just drag it over here. Drop it in and just drag it in all the way. Clear in. Into event. Into raid. And it's right here. Let's change our view up to a larger icon. There we go. Let's now rename this right here. So I'll grab the first file name right there, raid horn. Right click, copy. Back over here, click into here once, twice, right click and paste. There's our file name. We now need four copies of this. As you can see here, we have four of those. So it's right click on this, duplicate that, it's making a copy, right click and paste, and then change the name. This one becomes number two. Here we go. Right click, paste. This one is number three. And then right click and paste. And this one is number four. So I'm using the same sound for all four positions in here. If you want to do different sounds, one for each, that's fine. You can do whatever you want. You can do totally different raid sounds if you want to. I'm using the same one for all four just because it's faster and easier for this video. We're done with that. So we have our sounds in here. Again, the cone shape, that's just because I'm using the VLC media player. If you're using a different media player, you'll have a different icon on there. So don't worry about the cones. Let's go back here a little bit, back to our pack. So our assets folder is all set. We have our pack.mc meta file, that's all set. We have our pack PNG. That's all we need for the resource pack. So hold the control key down, assets, pack MC meta, and pack PNG. We're going to right click in this compressed to zip file. I'm in Windows 11, by the way. I'll just call it raid siren and I'll put an underscore between those. There we go. Raid siren.zip. We now need to get this into the game. So let's go back over here again. We're still next to this latest release. Go back to that folder icon. Inside of Minecraft, that's fine. Now scroll down. You're going to find resource packs right here. Open this thing up. And then you need that pack right inside here. So I'll just take this and I'll drag it right over there like that. And it's now in the game and we're all set to go.
get this out of the way. We can go ahead now, play the game, and then activate that pack. Here we go. This is my custom title screen. If you want to find out how I did all this stuff, I have videos for that, and I'll put those links in the description. Let's come down here to Options, Resource Packs. So my packs on the left-hand side. We should see a pack over here someplace. Let's scroll down just a little bit. There we go. Raid Siren. Get that triangle here. Bring that over here. Raid Siren. It's all set. Choose Done. And then Done again. Single player is my main world right there. And here we are back inside the main world. Let's just go over here. I have an ominous bottle right there. If I drink this, we're going to have a raid start immediately. We'll see if we can hear that siren or not. Sometimes they're too far away to really hear the siren very well. But we'll give it a shot. Okay. Heard the raid start. Let's now see if we can find where they are. It takes it a few seconds before the raid starts. I think it's 30 seconds and the raid will start up. Let's find ourselves a good place to watch this from. I don't know where the raid's gonna come from. We'll see the raid start here. Maybe listen at the top. There we go. There's a raid is starting. Let's see where they're at. Okay, villagers are all scared. That's and there it was, you heard that? The siren is working. All right, they run fast though. Okay, so that's how you can go in and change the raid horn sound here in Minecraft. And you can use the exact same technique to change any sound in Minecraft. Just find your sound inside of that JSON file. Copy down the path, copy down the sound name, make a new sound, and make a new resource pack for it. If you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you hit subscribe as well. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. I'm doing videos all the time, and I'll see you next time.